In classrooms each day, teachers find creative ways to relay important concepts and skills to their students. One of the more difficult subject areas for most students is math. Teachers are charged with finding creative ways to make math meaningful to students. The Common Core State Standards for Mathematics begin with an important and practical standard. Number one, make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. But what about this word persevere? How do we inspire students to persevere? Where does perseverance even come from? As educators, how can we possibly build this disposition in students, especially in math? Let's look together at a middle school where students struggled with complex mathematical concepts and worked together for weeks to persevere in solving them. But what motivated them to do this? This is the story of the sixth grade team of Daniels and Strong at High Tech High Middle School in San Diego, California. These students created memorable stories that take key concepts in math and embedded them into a narrative. There's a protagonist who goes through this series of experiences that are sort of dreamlike and, you know, in the fantasy world. And in each of these experiences that he has, he learns about a mathematic concept. And so Sarah had discovered this book and she wanted to bring literacy into her math classroom by sort of reading it with kids um, and then exploring the math concepts in each chapter, which she did as part of the, the project. Um, but she was so struck by the book that she thought, like, our kids should write something similar. Like, this book itself is going to be the inspiration for the project. I'm Tyler, and I was in sixth grade when I did this project. We did base it on the number devil, and mine was called Muhammad and the number genie. It's about a boy who lived in India. And um, he was struggling in math, and if he didn't get a passing grade in math, he wouldn't be able to go on vacation. I think it was to Hawaii. I know muttered Muhammad, but Muhammad loves planes, and he was looking forward to his first plane ride this summer. So then he finds a lamp in his attic, and then uh, he opens it up, and the number genie comes out. And they travel all over the world learning different math concepts. The difficult part was uh, remembering every rule in math because the one <laughs> the subject that I got, I didn't really know very much and mm -hmm. I had to look into it more and mm -hmm. learn more about it. There's the y-axis and the x-axis and you had to get all the coordinates right. In the book, he learned how to do coordinates and we had to use examples and make sure that those were all correct. Students worked in peer groups who pushed and critiqued each other along the way. They created draft after draft until finally their perseverance paid off. But what made this problem different? What inspired these students to learn to persevere? Um, but we would give them that choice and then we would form the groups and we would try to give them, you know, one of their choices for a math concept and then at least one of their choices for who they'd like to work with so that the students felt like they had some voice in the grouping process, but also we as teachers, you know, we have goals for, for strategic grouping of kids and so it was kind of a, you know, a hybrid model. The teachers got the voice and choice, and so did the students. Inspired by one book, these students wanted to inspire younger readers through their book of math concepts. By doing this, they learned perseverance through purpose, voice, and choice. 